Hello everyone. In today's screencast, we'll take a look at how you can use Boiler Pipe, uh, an open source um, solution to do full text extraction on HTML pages. If you are involved in a project that requires you to um, crawl for HTML pages and post crawling, uh, you, you want to do some information retrieval, named entity extraction, or various other text processing on HTML pages. Uh, one of the biggest challenges is to actually get uh, the text extracted from the page, because uh, as you can imagine, most uh, uh, pages, say if you take news articles, uh, for example, uh, the news article page, uh, such as the one that I have, uh, uh, say, uh, left open here, it, uh, it of course has headers, footers, and there's a lot of noise uh, in the page itself, uh, but we are only interested in, say, the actual uh, the article content itself. Uh, so that's uh, uh, classically the uh, you know the boilerplate um, a challenge in the sense there's so much of boilerplate code uh, that's on the page that you want to get rid of. So um, there are several commercial and open source uh, tools available. Um, Boilerpipe is uh, very popular, uh, and it's uh, really simple and fairly sophisticated for most of uh, the common use. Um, so hence uh, this video. Um, so um, uh, my recommendation would be to actually go and uh, um, get the code from GitHub and try the code. But uh, I'm I'm using uh, the older site just because uh, it's uh, it's just readily available for download. Uh, so what you need to do is go ahead and uh, quickly download the file here. Uh, of course, this is a much much older version. Um, the code base is really old as compared to the one on GitHub, but uh, it's simple enough to get started. Um, and uh, the other benefit, again, being um, Boilerpipe uh, is on the Apache license, so it's really flexible if you wanted to use in your own projects and extend it. Uh, so once you've downloaded the, the files, um, basically, uh, you need to include uh, a few of the jars in your project. Um, so you need to include the Boilerpipe jar itself and uh, Boilerpipe internally uses a couple of other libraries. Um, uh, so the main one is really uh, Nico uh, HTML, uh, which is really an HTML parser. It's a very lightweight, fast um, HTML parser. What it really does, uh, it, it does the grunt work, if you will, of parsing um, the document, the actual HTML document, and providing an XML interface to access that document. And then it also takes care of um, uh, a lot of um, the complexities around working with um, non-XML compliant uh, HTML. So say, for example, the author of an HTML page forgot to close a tag, for example, and uh, it becomes, of course, really hard to uh, convert that into XML. So anyway, Nico handles all of that grunt work, and Nico uh, internally uses Xerxes. Um, so uh, those are the three libraries you need to, or the jars that you need to include in your project. Um, so in my case, and um, I'm actually using Scala. Um, so um, let me just clear this. Um, so what's really um, uh, elegant about um, this particular library is how simple it really is. It pretty much is uh, one to two lines of code. Um, so uh, pretty much one line if uh, you embedded the URL here. So that's uh, um, you know how elegant and simple it is to actually get started. Uh, so again, what I've done is um, this. Um, I've taken this. Uh, article page that you're seeing here, and essentially what I want to uh, do is get rid of the the header, the footer, and I'm only interested in uh, the actual article itself, uh, which contains the heading, uh, all the way uh, to the actual uh, content of the news article itself. Uh, so if I run this, um, you can see that, uh, yep, um, it did what it was supposed to do. Uh, it actually cleaned away all the the boilerplate, um, and it actually gave us a very clean uh, HTML to work with. So you can see that it's uh, pretty much uh, uh, what I wanted to do, um, and with a pr basically one line of code. So uh, that's a quick example of an article page. But um, and in this particular instance, uh, uh, Boilerpipe uh, it it gives us uh, several different extractors. Um, I've used uh, uh, the preferred uh, one, which is the article extractor. However, uh, some of the pages may or may not be suitable for article extractor. So you can try some of the other extractors that you get with 
boiler pipe. Um, so let's uh, let's use another example here. So this time around, I've uh, I'm trying to uh, extract text from uh, a publishing uh, kind of like a page. Uh, so of course, this is not a news article page. This is more like a product page uh, or, or a generic page. As you can see, it's uh, there's a lot of text and um, there's a lot of images here. Um, so if, if I try to run uh, the article extractor on this URL here, so let me just uh, comment it out. And uh, so we are basically using this as a URL right now. So if, if I run this um, again, uh, you'll notice that the article extractor is again not geared towards uh, extracting uh, those kind of pages. The article extractor uses um, a machine learning driven heuristics logic to um, basically extract um, pages that kind of fit uh, into an article-like format. And of course, this uh, this wasn't an article page. Uh, so uh, when uh, when we run the project, you'll notice that uh, it doesn't fully extract the content. So uh, what I'm interested in is uh, you know starting from our most personal device set yet. Uh, say all the way to um, finally say well, again it depends on the page itself but uh, I would imagine uh, it'll extract it all the way to maybe here or um, you know yep so let's say um, uh, you know I would want it to extract up until here and not capture the header or the footer um, so as you can see it's a um, it, it's a very different uh, experience that you have here um, so it, it's really not captured all the page content, um, so it's um, only captured a subset. Um, so essentially what uh, the article extractor does, and um, I'm oversimplifying it, but it basically looks for the page, uh, the contents within the page, uses heuristics to uh, figure out which is the largest content block. Uh, I, I mean, it's a lot more complex than that, but uh, that's me oversimplifying it. Uh, the other option that we have is instead of using the article extractor, we can use the default uh, extractor. And uh, if I run it with the default extractor, uh, again, it's um, it, it's not recommended for uh, article pages itself. Uh, but uh, in this particular case, uh, the article page hasn't done a great job, or the article extractor hasn't done a great job of um, um, pulling out or extracting the full text from that page. So we can use the default extractor here. Um, so now the default extractors, um, uh, of course, uh, got a lot of uh, content. So our most personal device yet. Yep, that's uh, what I was hoping uh, for the page to start. Um, and then um, it captures it all the way to um, um, fairly at the bottom of the page. So requires at least. So yep, so it's captured um, up until here. Uh, so it's uh, as you can see it's uh, uh, extracted more text now the uh, question is how do you know which extractor to apply again that's ultimately boils down to uh, how uh, you know the logic within your page you may want to extract content and use some kind of uh, feature based mechanism that uh, you determine uh, based on the HTML content um, uh, which particular extractor you may want to use but that's uh, uh, totally dependent um, on um, you know your specific implementation and the logic um, you will want to apply Last thing I'll quickly mention before we wrap up is uh, if you go back to uh, the boilerplate project, um, there's a, a, a link to a web demo as well. So you may want to give that a try. So um, uh, again, without you having to download um, and try out a few examples, you can try it on the web page itself. Um, so um, the web page does highlight uh, a few of the other extractors here, two of which uh, we have already talked about. Uh, again, I don't necessarily think this is up to date. Um, you, uh, you can, uh, again, the, uh, the best next step for you would be to actually download from GitHub and give it a go. All right, so that's a wrap up for, uh, for this particular screencast. Uh, hopefully uh, it uh, helped uh, showcase uh, an example of uh, a good text extractor. All right, thanks everyone for watching.